Let's have some silent consultations, please. Yes, one, two. Uh, the, the magistrate court, uh, while uh, the high court made an order that uh, is supposed to have altered affairs <laughs> and ensured that it has frozen the process that is going on at the magistrate court, it has appeared, or rather it has appeared, that then the case number that has been, that was halted, that was uh, frozen by the High Court, is not the same number of the case that is here at the Magistrate Court. Uh, the case that uh, the defense side for, uh, halted at the High Court uh, level uh, num was, na was 292 of 2018, but the case before the Chief Magistrate here, Lawrence Mugambi, is 38 of 2018. And therefore, this has created confusion. Uh, the defense side had thought that they have won it, uh, but uh, the Chief Magistrate Lawrence Mugambi has said not so fast. He has taken a while to try and make a final decision on uh, how he will be going to decide on this particular matter. Uh, Mugambi has been quite clear. He has said that uh, a high court order must be must have clarity, must be clear on all uh, issues, and therefore it must uh, be private. It should not have any other interpretation. That is why he has taken a moment to decide on which way to go on this one. And therefore, it's interesting uh, to see how this one is going to proceed. It had been announced uh, loud and clear that uh, Philomena Mwilu had gotten some sort of a reprieve, uh, but it looks like uh, that is not so fast. Uh, the High Court, uh, the, high, uh, the Magistrate of uh, uh, the Anti-Corruption Court, Lawrence Mugambi, is in the next couple of minutes going to make a final decision on whether this case will be going on at the Magistrate Court or the stay orders that are purported to have come uh, from the High Court will hold water. And Therefore, it is a question of a mix-up of, of case number. The case, the case before the chief magistrate here is numbered 38 of 2018. But the case that has uh, been brought before him as uh, having gotten stay orders from the high court is case number 292 of 2018. This is the confusion that uh, Mugambi will be grappling with and he should be making a final determination uh, in the next couple of minutes. And therefore this is uh, really to look at it from a broader angle is that uh, should he declare Line, the court or the state order that have been brought before him, it means that this matter goes on in earnest before the chief magistrate, uh, that is the magistrate called the anti-corruption court. And therefore, again, they will be having, they will be forced, uh, perhaps, if they decide to do so, to make a fresh application at the high court uh, to stay order, rather to stay this particular case, uh, touching on the deputy chief justice Philomena Mwilu.
courtroom. Of course, lawyers now trying to put their heads together. A battery of lawyers, a huge number of lawyers has been representing Philomena Mwilu and one co-accused, Mr. Stanley Kima. Uh, they are all trying to put their heads together. This They didn't see this coming. Uh, the likes of Senator James Orengo, uh, the likes of Haminwa, the likes of Okongo Omogeni. Uh, they are the kind of uh, the top cream that was representing Philomena Mwilu. Uh, they didn't see this coming really because they've all uh, the, 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 there was a belief that they had made it through, they had passed over the hurdle, uh, but uh, Lawrence Mugambi, the chief magistrate here of the anti-corruption court, says it's, it's, it's not really going to take that direction until he makes his own judgment on this one. And therefore, uh, it's a question, again, uh, if we can have a recap, it's a question of a mix-up of case number. The case number before the anti-corruption court is 292 of 2018, but the case that uh, uh, lawyers uh, James Orengo and his team stayed at the high court is case number 38 of 2018 and the high court judge and the high court and rather the, the chief well, there you have it, Francis Ontoma, informing us about the latest developments as they happen at the Milimani Law Courts. Remember, um, the Chief Magistrate, Mugambi, has actually refuted the order that was pushed further um, to stop the proceedings of the criminal case against the Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu so that the case cannot apply even if they shouldn't be forced to interpret the order. That's what Chief Magistrate Mugambi is saying. But we'll continue informing you about what is happening right there as we make room for the team of Bottom Line Africa as they continue highlighting the developments right there. Yusuf Ibrahim will be coming up next, informing you about the latest as they happen, not just right here at Milimani, but around the continent. We'll give further directions of the petition. It has been pointed out by the state that the case before the court is number 38 of 2018 and therefore this order does not apply to this case. Indeed, looking at the file before me, uh, that is a position. Court orders must be specific and should never leave room for interpretation. Consequently, I agree with the state that this order cannot apply or Neither is it an effective stay of this case, but considering that parties have since morning been talking about a petition pending before the High Court, I'll be ready to invite submissions on the same. On, the, on, the, on what you purport to be the error. Sometimes mistakes do occur, but I want us to have it on record uh, before we, I make a decision on that. I want to have it on record, properly on record, as, as indicated by um, Mrs. Dr. Sodwal, that this is a court of record, and any decision that is taken must form part of the record. So I think it would be necessary if uh, you have any issues that you want this court to look at in view of that decision. Uh, I get information on this so that I'm able to make, decide and give a way forward. Because if I take this order as it is, it cannot be the order that stops this case. It yes. cannot. If we take it as, as it is, either you, either you, are, either we have, uh, you agree that. Uh, if you believe it's a genuine mistake, you are able to secure a proper order that is served in this to this court, so that the court can take notice of it. 
but yes, uh, yes. the order you've presented yeah, to the court is not an order that the court can take cognizance of. Yeah. Yona, do you want us to address the court? So is it something that... Uh, What's the position of the state? I will not respond to that. I'll let the court make a decision on it, but I have another matter to raise after that. I'll not respond to the issue of the, of the order, because I've already made some questions. Yes, they will raise the question. What, what was the issue? The second issue I was going to raise is that if you look at the order uh, at five, the order is just uh, in favor of the petitioner, and I would like the court to give directions on how to deal with the second accused person who is the interested party. The order is for the petitioner, but not the interested party. <coughs> We have, yeah. we have some uh, issues here. We have some issues here. No, no, no we are not here. Your Honor, you, you unfortunately, we, we are not hearing properly. I think there are issues. Yes. There are issues here that needs to be addressed. Yes. Yes. I think there are, if, if you did, if you did, you have a strike in this order. There are some flaws in it. There are flaws in it, and I think. Your Honor, if, if we can, we can address you then. Yes. On the issue that he has raised, she has raised about this order. Yes. Your Honor, normally citation of a criminal case yes. is not just saying criminal case number 50, let's say of 2018. Normally a citation of a matter which is before the court would uh, cite the court saying the chief magistrate's court number. Yes. 2018 of 2018. The 292 speaks to the charge sheet, the number given in the charge sheet which uh, is addressed as case number and is in bold, which means as far as this charge sheet is concerned, the number is 292 of 2018. This is the charge sheet that we were given yesterday. And Your Honor was not in a position to entertain any further proceedings because of the time the matter had come to court. So we left this court on the basis of the charge sheet. And that, was, uh, that, that is what we used for the purposes of the application. So you could see in the order is not talking about chief magistrate's criminal case number. It's just saying criminal case number in reference to case number 292 which affects the petitioner. Now, it is quite clear that both in terms of the address we made in this court, it was on this charge sheet which is before the court.